FM Pwn kindly gave me a sneak preview of the new cache, which is quickly blazing to completion. Everything has changed, though you might not notice it. He has given it an HD makeover. Textures have been replaced, realigned, or tweaked. The grass is better definition. He's even added weed. The wood on Bombsite B has a detail layer. Door trims are now more defined. Bombsite B now politely shows terrorists where they can plant. A new graphic in Sunroom, courtesy of Thurnip. You'll have to wait until release to see it in-game, but for now, have some dank concept art. More details have been added, more stains under crates, and more fancy shadows across the walls. This barrel also looks different. But it's not just change for change's sake. Sure, these new textures help the map to look prettier, especially when under the scrutiny of 4K judgement. But there are a number of gameplay improvements as well. For those of you with colour blindness, you may now find that it's easier to pick people out from the backgrounds. Details have been added to help players to set up grenade throws, like the holes above the window near B. A few of the textures have also been brightened. It's a lot easier to see into the vents than before as the slats have been moved further apart. Though interestingly, since they're at an angle it can be hard to see through them from boost. A couple of bugs have been fixed too. Clipping has been improved to prevent lost bombs or dodgy movement. This crate used to turn transparent if viewed from a distance, though this is also fixed now. FM Pwn and Will2K have optimised the map more than before, and from their testing, the frame rates in the bomb sites have been substantially improved. I ran my own tests at 4K resolutions and found that on average, the extra details outweighed the extra optimization, lowering the average frame rate by 11%. You can see a breakdown of individual areas here. But even with this, it still ran faster for me than Mirage and Overpass do, so if you can run those maps then this new cache should be fine. And even with a relatively old graphics card, I was still getting over 100 FPS on average and at 4K with anti-aliasing, so it's not exactly Crisis. Or Nuke. And FM Pwn will continue to optimise this map until its release, so expect the end result to be even better. It's great to see so much love and care still being invested into the older maps. And thanks to FM Pwn for letting me see his creation before it's finalised. Check out his links in the description of this video.